she needs it. So she's hope, hope, hopefully we're setting a trend or a, an allowance for other children to access as well. Many other states have already passed bills and that's in the horizon as well. Um, Dr. Bonnie Goldstein is Brooke's doctor for cannabis and um, when we first found out that she was an amazing doctor that could explain everything to us in understandable terms, I searched her out and um, started to take Brooke to see her. And I knew that once, once we were able to get in a place where Brooke is a little more stable, that I wanted to have the opportunity to bring this information to other people so that they could have this opportunity to give to their kids instead of medications that had intubated Brooke, had put her in the hospital numerous times. And with cannabis, actually August 2016 is the last time she's been in the ER for status seizure because of cannabis. So without further ado, we're gonna get started. And I'd like to introduce Heather from ASA, who's co-sponsoring with Whole Plant Access to make this event happen. Thank you. So I only have five minutes. I didn't do any slides, but uh, we have a table out there and I'm happy to talk to anyone as needed. But uh, thank you, Jenna. My name is Heather Daybreak. I work at Americans for Safe Access. They are a nonprofit that was founded in 2002 to really help advance patient advocacy in the form of medical marijuana. And so we have worked to help promote legislation and bills that have helped advance uh, medical cannabis initiatives in almost every single state and a number of territories. And I am the director of the Patient Focused Certification Program at Americans for Safe Access, which is a third party auditing and compliance program that we offer to cannabis businesses as well as hemp CBD businesses to ensure that these operations are actually producing medicine that is safe. Um, there is some state regulatory oversight, but our program is really intended to go to the next level and help businesses really tell their patients we are committed to providing safe medicine for you. Americans for Safe Access has a number of different programs available to it as well. We have training and education programs um, for both the PFC program um, for cannabis businesses in cultivation, manufacturing, dispensing, and laboratory operations. And then we also have a cannabis care certification program. And this program actually provides education for patients and caregivers. And we also have CME credits that were just reaccredited um, with Dr. Korn through Harvard University. We have a flyer out front if you guys are interested, if you are medical professionals and you need to get CME credits, um, you can use our access code and get a discount on that training. And uh, the cannabis care certification also is available to dispensaries as a monthly subscription. And so this subscription, um, through the dispensary and paying for it, allows patients and caregivers to access the training and education materials for free. Um, that is a very long spiel. It is a lot of stuff to take in, and as we are on a time crunch, I'm going to hand it back over to Jana so that we can keep the program moving. But if you guys have any questions about Americans for Safe Access, the Patient Focused Certification Program, or the Cannabis Care Certification, feel free to come and talk to me. And we couldn't have done this without our sponsors. And so we want to um, give time to Sparks, who's our platinum sponsor. If they want to come up. Thank you, Jana. And um, I'm Ginger Dawn, and I'm here representing Spark today. Um, I also want to say thank you to Americans for Safe Access. It's an incredible organization, and, and if you haven't looked into it, please do. Um, they're really important. Um, first, though, before I'm, I'm Spark, I'm really a mom, and um, I have a 13-year-old who lives with epilepsy and is also a patient of Dr. Bonnie Goldstein and um, has been advised by Martin Lee, who um, both have been um, incredibly important to our journey. Uh, she's now 13. She was 
six when she was first diagnosed and when we first used cannabis. Um, you're going to hear a lot of stories today, so I'm not going to only share with you about my daughter Cyprus, but just to say, without um, medical cannabis and without the guidance of Dr. Bonnie Goldstein and without really good products that are dose specific, uh, that can actually, um, where we can see how much cannabinoids uh, we're giving to our children, without that, um, we wouldn't, my daughter wouldn't be where she is today. So it's very important to me, as I can see for all of you, and it's so great to see you here, and thank you for being here. This is really important, especially in the time of the rec market, which is great and happening, but it is really important that we preserve the medical cannabis market here today, um, and that's one of the things we're doing today. So, as I said, um, I also work for Spark, and um, I head up the community relations there in sales, and we sponsored this event. In case you don't know about Spark, we have five stores, three in San Francisco and two right here in Sonoma County. Uh, the two here is one in Sebastopol and one in Santa Rosa. We also do delivery service. We have a table out there and you can check us out. Um, but just to let you know, I mean, we have been on the forefront of providing safe, uh, clean cannabis medicine to patients for over two decades now. So we've been working with American for Safe Access for a very long time. We've been around for a long time and we've been committed to providing cannabis medicine for the medical community. Um, uh, we are known for knowledgeable, approachable staff um, who are professional. If you haven't checked us out, please come see us. We have coupons outside. Um, we have all kinds of uh, products that I'm sure people, the doctors are going to be speaking about today. So a whole variety of things. Um, just let me make sure. Ah, so the last thing to share with you today is I wanted to give you a little visual of what a cannabis farm looks like. And one of the things that we do is consult with uh, Mike Benziger, who is a winemaker in Glen Ellen. Our farm is in Glen Ellen, where we um, grow our flowers uh, certified biodynamically or sort of organic to the 10th power. Uh, we also have information about biodynamic farming outside. So um, I'm just going to share this very short one minute video to kind of drop you into the plant, into the farm, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for your time. And again, I'm really happy to see you all here. So um, thanks for being here. I personally think that it's very, very important for us to farm the land with respect and to understand the responsibility, really the sacred responsibility we have to the earth and also the sacred responsibility we have to producing a cannabis plant that is completely pure and has the ability to elevate consciousness and has the ability to heal. What we try to do in the biodynamic practices here at Spark is we try to farm the plants in a way where they can absorb or eat as much sunlight as possible and then be able to hold that in the plant. The healing and the elevation of consciousness, the higher level thinking, is in the release of light. Thanks again. <laughs> Okay, the first presentation is going to be by Whole Plant Access for Autism, and we have Rhonda Muller here to do that for us. Hi, everybody.